Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Tom, and uh, I got inspiration to make some videos from watching Hickok45 on YouTube. So I was like, I'll make a couple of videos about my guns. So to start off, I'm on my buddy's property. Louis Louie's my buddy, he's the cameraman. And uh, I just figured I'd talk to you about the gun. So this right here is uh, my 22, one of them. Um, it's a 22, it's a 1022. It's in an Archangel stock. And it's a load of fun. See, the thing is about 22s is that this box of ammo, I'm shooting Federal right now. Um, it's cheap. It's probably the cheapest ammo around there. It's 550 rounds for about, I think it's 19.99 plus tax. Um, the only problem is that the 36 grain, it doesn't have enough power to kick the bolt back every single time perfectly. So sometimes it jams, but it's not a big deal. Um, I mean, it's a lot of fun. I didn't like this, the sights that were on it, and uh, so for Christmas my dad got me a red dot sight. Um, it's got red or green, and it's got four different uh, sights, and uh, I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. This gun in particular has a pistol grip, detachable mag, has the, uh, the grip in the front. Um, not too much about it. It's got a mock flash hider on it. It's not... 100% real, like it doesn't really do anything, it's just for show. If it was uh, an actual uh, flash hider, my gun would be illegal because on assault rifle type weapons, you can only have two exceptions, one being the pistol grip, and one being a detachable mag. The other being a folding stock, which this gun has, but it's pinned. It's, uh, it's glued with some extremely strong glue uh, from the place I bought it from, so you cannot fold the stock. If it was, that would also make it illegal. So, um, here's a magazine, you know, standard AR type magazine. It, uh, this gun's unloaded right now. The bolt's open, you can see. Um, when I put it in, the bolt's still open. Just want to make sure we're safe today. We both have our ears on and our eyes on. So, um, the gun's a lot of fun. And, uh, I mean, it's not that expensive either. I bought it before all the hype was going on, and so it cost me about three seventy-five. Um, red dot sights can run you anywhere from cheap ones for forty bucks to hundred bucks for decent ones. Uh, not sure what the brand up. It's a it's a tactical red dot sight. Uh, this is all. It's a this is a Ruger. I don't know if I said that, but uh, we'll take a couple shots. Um, we built this table yesterday. It's uh, not great, but it'll do the job for the woods. So I have a little, a little metal swinger set up down the end on the stump that I'm going to shoot at with the red dot sight. The sight is 100% accurate, but it hits it a good amount of the time, and uh, I, I enjoy it. I'm using green right now because I like green better than red. I forgot to close the bolt. Of course. It's uh, one thing I like, or I don't like, sometimes when you, if you just pull the bolt back like this, while the gun's at this angle, the lock doesn't disengage underneath. Um, what I do is, instead of pulling the bolt back and pushing down the lock, if you hold the gun straight up, the lock disengages, so now it's loaded and ready to fire. It's a lot of fun. It's a semi-auto, obviously. I just had a misfire. Of course, the first shot I take is a misfire. So I'm just going to wait a couple seconds. You're supposed to wait like 20 to 30 seconds um, in order to make sure that the round isn't live. So we'll chill for about 15 more seconds. But um, oh, it's also got a little bit of a recoil pad on the back, like you actually need it. It's probably just for, just for comfort because the 22 barely has any kick. See, I love these guns because I can shoot them all day long for virtually nothing. I mean, $20 for 550 rounds is a great price. You get upgraded to, I don't know, um, even if you were buying an AR-223 ammo, the bullet is about the same exact size pretty much 
just wa longer, not wider. Like it makes the same size hole. The only thing is the shell is about that long instead of about this long because it has so much more powder in it. So it's military round, extremely powerful. I should clear this. Yep, there was a misfire. See that the striker hit the rim fire of it, the rim, and it has a little bit of a indent there. Mm -hmm. That means it was definitely a misfire. We'll dispose of it later. But I'll lock it, lock the bolt back, and start over. Of course, the first shot in the video is a misfire. All right, we're gonna try this again. Hopefully, we don't get a misfire again. I don't know if you can see that, but the thing's swinging back there means I hit yep. it. Yep. Obviously. But it's a lot of fun. I'm going to shoot a couple shots. <laughs> Shall I put the safety on? Just had a, a jam. Sometimes, like I said, it doesn't it doesn't push the bolt all the way back, so the bolts get stuck in it. You know the shells. But I mean, it's really really cheap ammo. If you want to go expensive, I mean, you can buy a box of 50 and you won't have that problem. I mean, for 50 bucks, you won't have that problem. But I'm not looking to spend two and a half times the money to shoot all day. I mean, I'm doing it already for this price. You know, every now and then a jam's fine. Sometimes you get a roll where you can shoot 100 shots you don't get a jam. Sometimes you get five jams within one magazine. So I'm just going to finish off this magazine. And then the next magazine I'm going to take, I'm just going to fire it rapid fire or something. So um, we're in the woods. We're being really safe right now because we have, there's a lot of land here. And there's nobody anywhere near us. So there's no chance of a stray bullet going anywhere. It's hilly. So even if I miss the targets, the bullets go down into the ground. I don't know if you can see past the target because my camera doesn't v zoom very well. But past the target, it goes up. So, and there's a lot of trees. So, I'm just going to fire off the rest of this magazine. I think I'm empty. I am. So, I lock the bolt back, safety on, detach the mag. And the stun doesn't get it doesn't get extremely hot when you shoot it a ton of times. I mean it gets warm. I mean the more you shoot it, the hotter it's gonna get. And the ejection pattern usually it ejects forward a little bit into the right. So it's not like any handgun you're gonna get any flying back at you. But you always wear your eyes just to be safe. Now this mag I'm gonna fire off. Um, there's about approximately 25 rounds in there. I put as many as it'll hold. Um, I'm just going to fire it off fast, as fast as I can at that uh, the cardboard target down there just to show you how fast it can shoot. It's a semi-auto, so it can shoot as fast as you pull the trigger as long as it's ejecting the shells properly. So I'm going to do that right now. And, of course, I forgot to pull the bolt back. I mean, uh, pull the bolt. All right. Try this again. Now, the problem I just had was um, another problem with cheap ammo. Well, I put the safety on, I'm going to pull the, uh, it just fell out. Sometimes the bullets not only, you know, because they're, because they're so cheap, and the magazine feeds them in, the bolt hits uh, the mag and pushes it in. Sometimes it gets stuck on the lip of the, of the action. And it'll shave off a little piece of the bullet because they're copper plated lead. And so the bullet will get stuck and it'll, it'll hang in there on an angle and won't go anywhere. You don't want to fire bullets that have um, anything like that happen. You know, 
stuff. If you get if you get a bad bullet, put it aside, dispose of it later. Don't bury bullets like uh, some people say to do, because that's just plain stupid. Just want to let you know we are at the 10 minute mark. Alright. Should I fire off the rest of these? Once I pull the bolt back. Okay. I just had another jam. Safety's on. Sometimes, like I said, you get a whole hundred rounds without a problem, and sometimes you get five problems within a match. It just depends. I think that was empty. I'm now empty. So. But for the price, you can't beat this gun. I'm gonna load up another mag while I'm talking. I mean, for 300, so you can get you can get a 1022 and just a regular 1022 stock, probably close to 200 dollars. I mean, sometimes even less. And it's definitely worth it. I mean, everyone should have a, tw a 22 because you know the one they're a lot of fun to shoot. They're a cheap ammo, and anyone can shoot them. I mean, if you have kids, you're teaching your 10 year old, 12 year old how to shoot. A 22 is a great gun to start with because it has virtually no kick. So it's not going to hurt, and the bullets are so small, and there's so little powder in it, so the, the recoil is slim. But also, it's probably, I mean, no matter what the bullet is, it can cause damage, but it's probably one of the safest bullets to use because it's so small, and it's so cheap. And 1022s, um, come, I mean, 22s in general compared to other guns, like, this gun is very light. Like, I could hold it up all day long in one hand. Safety's on, the bolt's open. We're just being safe. It's a lot of fun. Um, as for the red dot, this is the only red dot I own. Uh, um, so far, I mean, it's been great. It took a little while to, uh, to sight in. But once we got it sighted in, it works fairly well. We, uh, we usually set up just a bunch of cans and bottles. Um, and the tree's low, you know, about six, seven feet off the ground at the highest. You don't want, you don't really want to shoot on an angle too much. I'm six foot four, so when I'm shooting, this table is probably four and a half feet high or something like that. Um, when you're shooting, you really don't want to shoot too much of an angle up because bullets can travel because they're um, so high powered. So the more level you are, the more you're aiming towards the ground, the safer it is. You also don't want to aim straight at the ground because if you hit a rock or anything, the bullet can ricochet and who knows where it's going to go. It could very well come right back at you. So I'm just going to load up a couple more shots and then we'll fire a little bit more. But um, in my opinion, it's definitely worth the money. I mean, if I were to sell the gun right now, I could probably get four fifty, five hundred bucks, but I'm not going to sell it because um, a lot of places are out of stock right now because of the hype. Everyone's buying up guns and everything. But you know, All right, let's just take a couple shots. I don't know how many I put in here, but let's fire. I'm just going to fire at the water bottle in front of the the metal swingers. I'm going to change the, uh, the sight, so now it's a crosshair. Before I was using uh, a dot with the circle around it, so I'm going to use a crosshair now. Safety's off. And I'm out. I mean, I thoroughly enjoy shooting this gun. Definitely worth the money. And uh, everyone I've taken shooting loves it too. So, here's the bolt. So we shoot a, uh, we'll shoot at the metal target again. See how many times I hit it. And I'm out. Okay. 
I didn't really have any problems that time with uh, tuna eggs. So, but it's definitely a lot of fun. I recommend Ruger as a brand. Um, Ruger's a pretty good brand. Um, I'll make another video showing off uh, my other 22 because it's uh, it's also a lot of fun and the most accurate gun I've ever fired. I actually just had a Moisson Nakan, which fires 7.62 by 54R, a Russian rifle from World War II, but I sold it because I figured I didn't need any more. Um, uh, I'm going to be hunting with a 30-30 next sunny season, so it should be fun. But overall, it's a great gun. It's light. It's a front grip. I don't particularly like using the front grip too much. I, I feel like I get more stability off of holding onto the magazine, but other people like the grip, and the grip locks into five different ways. It folds forward, it can fold on an angle forward, it can fold straight down, an angle back, and then back. I particularly like the magazine better, but the only problem I see with this gun is that the magazine feeders are all like the silicone or uh, carbon fiber material so I mean it'll, it'll get worn out after a while the feeder but there's uh, there's other 22s that have the steel feeder so I'd recommend if you could I'm not sure they make any for this gun but no matter what gun you get a steel feeder is the best because it doesn't wear out as fast and it'll probably feed it better so that's it I, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, please uh, look forward to my other videos and uh, have a great day.